Yo, what's up guys? My name is Eric, and sorry I sound a little bit sick. Anyway though, in the next couple of videos, I'll be making some videos going over a budget build gaming PC. I'll be making some videos on building it, some tests and stuff like that. Anyway though, in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the parts I got for this gaming PC. Now, if you build this same computer, you're going to spend around 350 to 400 bucks. It depends on exactly what configurations you get. For me, I spent more around the $400 price range. Now, first, for the case, which will hold all the computer parts, we have the FBM-01 Roswell Micro ATX Mid-Tower Computer Case. Yes, this is a very small case, but it does have a low price range, and it'll get the job done. Now, for RAM, we paused the video, so I got 8GB of RAM, 2 sticks of 4GB by Corsair. Now, the Corsair RAM has this giant heatsink on it, which makes the RAM way too big, and the problem is it doesn't exactly fit into the case properly. It blocked the hard drive bay, so I had to remove the RAM to put in the hard drive, but later on, I found out that I could not wire the hard drive because the RAM was in the way, so I would not recommend getting this RAM. The RAM will still be in the link down below, but I'll try to find some other RAM. Now, you can solve this problem by either getting different RAM, which I'll try to find a better, uh, better source of RAM or better type of RAM, whatever, or you can get a different case that is bigger, but I just want to let you know about this problem. Now let's get back to the actual video. Right now this RAM is around 50 bucks, and I forgot to mention the computer case is right now around 30 bucks. Moving on, we have a Corsair power supply. We have a power supply with 430 watts. Yes, this is kind of low, but it'll get the job done. And right now this power supply is around 40 bucks. Now talking about the GPU and the CPU, we have the AMD A10 5800 APU. This is a processor and a graphic card combined into one. We're doing this because we're on an extreme budget. Now the processor is clocked at 3.8 gigahertz and it is a quad core processor. It also has turbo boosting and it gets it up to 4.2 gigahertz. And the GPU that's built in is an AMD Radeon HD 7660D. Now of course this is not an amazing GPU, but it should get the job done for right now. This processor should cost you around 120 and 130 bucks. Of course I'll make some videos going over the performance of this GPU. GPU and CPU. Now talk about our motherboard, we have an MSI motherboard with a really long model number of uh, FM2A75MAE35, because that makes complete sense. Now this is a micro ATX motherboard, so it's not going to have all the bells and whistles as a full ATX motherboard, but for the pricing of 60 bucks, it'll definitely get the job done with some nice features, such as USB 3, HDMI out, and one touch overclocking. It also has expandability so we can add another GPU in the future. And for our last main component, we have a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue. And yes, that is a hard drive. A 500 gigabyte hard drive should definitely get the job done, at least for me. Now, of course, you can go bigger if you want to. Now, that is all the main components, but there is a few things I added because, well, I kind of needed them, such as a 20 gigabyte DVD drive. Now, not everyone needs a DVD drive, but for the purposes of this computer, I might as well throw one in. I also spent 30 bucks on an ASUS wireless card so I can get Wi-Fi on this computer. I'll have all the links on these products down below, but of course all these prices are constantly changing, so you may get a better deal than what I got, or you may get a worse deal than what I got. Anyway, that is the computer build I'll be building in the future. If you want to see me actually build this computer, well, you may want to subscribe to the channel and like this video because that'll always help me. Anyway though, guys, my name is Eric, and I'm signing out.